Hey guys! Um, so as some of you know, I've been trying out a lot of different fighting games recently, and so I've been spending a lot of time on YouTube trying to find good tutorials to help me learn the basics of, of new characters in all these different games. And to be honest, it's been a little rough, because what I'm finding is that a lot of the tutorials that are out there are either really outdated, or they are just way too much for a beginner, if you understand what I mean. Um, I found some good, like, short ones, but they're really old, and then a lot of the more recent ones are just in <laughs> packed with way too much information than a beginner to that character could possibly remember, especially if you're also new to the game. So I thought, you know, people that are in my position trying to get started on Mortal Kombat, maybe they feel the same way with some of the guys that are out there. So I decided to do a very basics breakdown of Jade one of the characters I play. So we're gonna just get into the very, very basic stuff. Let's do it. So we're gonna cover some of Jade's best pokes, a good punish string, a couple of her special moves that I think are essential to her game plan. Best anti-air, one of the best in the game, honestly. And then just talk a little bit about her basic gameplay overall. So I'll give you a sense of her movement here. Pretty decent movement, but nothing super special. Jade is really a mid-range character, so she wants to stop you from getting in too close. Um, and if you're a mixed character, she wants to stop you from getting in close where you can mix her up. Because up close is not her best area or her area of expertise. So she wants to keep you at about this range, where she can do her own thing, have her own game plan be working. She also wants to kind of bait you into attacking, and then she can punish with her long-reaching moves like this, or this, and with her projectiles. So let me get this guy back over here. Let's just talk about her most essential move in the game. Most essential move. And if you've watched any Mortal Kombat, you probably know what's coming. Dancing Shadows. All right, this is down back two and is one of Jade's best moves. It's a special move equipped with all variations and this makes her immune to all projectiles for a few seconds. One of the great things about it is that as you can see while I'm doing this, no meter is being taken away at all. So you get it completely free. And this gives you an opportunity to say, win projectile wars. Uh, Liu Kang is a character with some great projectiles. Um, but if I have glow out, none of that will work, so then he's gonna have to try to make his way in, and if he doesn't, then I can just throw my projectiles at him all day. Um, it also gives an opportunity to make characters more likely to have to try to work their way in and do something crazy, which will be the chance for you to come in and punish. So glow, this is her number one best move in my opinion. And really, a lot of what your entire game plan is going to be organized around is getting glow out and then using that to your advantage. But it's very important to keep in mind. You need to activate this carefully. So a lot of new players, one of the things they'll do, which isn't smart, is activating it right up in your opponent's face. That's not good because you can get punished very easily. Um, and another thing that they'll do is just starting it constantly, anytime at the beginning of rounds, just getting it out there. No. You want to actually, you know, think about when you're activating, when your opponent's maybe recovering, getting up off the ground after you've hit them is a good safe time to activate, or when they are currently throwing projectiles at you. All right, so give yourself an opportunity to activate it, but do it smartly, safely. And this move is really, really good for dealing with tough matchups, so Sub-Zero's Ice Balls will go right through that, Scorpion Spear will go right through this, and of course zoners like Cetrion and Robocop. So you're really an anti-zoning character, but you can also zone. Alright, so how about some of her best pokes? Jade's best poke, in my opinion. Down four. Or if you're coming from games like Street Fighter, it'd be crouching. So you can see there's a huge range and reach on this. And it pushes back pretty far. So this is what I consider one of the god buttons. It's great because you can 
create space. Which, of course, is what Jade wants, because she wants you to get away from her so that she can come in with their preferred range that she has. So it can be helpful if someone's trying to, like, walk in on you, mash on you, try to hit them from a good range where you're relatively safe trying to hit them. And also push them back into the position that you want them to be in. Another one of her great pokes, essential pokes, is one you've already seen a couple times, and that's back two. Alright, so back to great range, great distance, um, you can use it, follow up with things after it, so you can follow up with Nitro Kick. You can follow up with Delia's Dance, which we'll talk about in a bit. So lots of things you can follow up with, so it's a great move for, say, if your opponent's coming in in a foolish and unsafe way. You can kind of poke them to keep them out completely, um, and if they block, you know, just back off. But if they don't, if you hit them, you can keep going with, say, a Nitro Kick and get some more damage. One thing to keep in mind, all right, this looks like it might be a good anti-air. This is not a good anti-air. Do not try to constantly anti-air with this. It will go badly for you. All right, so Jade's best punish, if you're up close, um, is going to be the back 3-4-3 three, three string. All right. So she has a lot of strings, but this is a great one because it starts with back three, a good mid. Um, it's relatively fast, and it can punish a lot of stuff, um, including Scorpion Teleport, so... And it's also great because it has a handful of follow-ups, so you can kind of confuse your opponent about what you're going to do after this. You can end it with four. You can end it with Delia's. You can go into Air Glaive can walk up and grab. So it's a very useful move with lots of different options available to it. You want to use that for your punishes. And if you're going to learn one string to start off with, that's the one. Back three, four, three, and then try to know some of the follow-ups. And then just another great move for punishing, which we've already talked about, is her special move, down forward four, the Nitro Kick. One of Jade's classics. All right, but again, kind of like Glow, you've got to be smart about when to use it. Don't just be nitro kicking right off the bat or right up in your opponent's face. If it's blocked, you will be punished hard. So good to use it on a punish when they have made a mistake or also when they're coming down out of the air. So, so you can see if they're jumping on you, you got an opportunity to punish that way with Nitro Kick. So it's very useful in that respect. All right, and then of course we have what I consider the other god button of Jade's. That is her down two. All right, so down two. Look at this move. Look at all the range that she's got. So this is going to be your preferred anti-air with Jade. You can use the Nitro Kick, um, but this is obviously the way that you want to go. It's extremely fast on startup. It's got a ton of range. Um, it's also a good move that you can use to kind of finish out some strings if they hit. So it's just a good way to end things. And you can see, that's really good range. So it can hit from quite far out, or, you know, if you're even right underneath. And it does a decent amount of damage, so... This is definitely Jade's best anti-air, but again, as with a lot of Jade's moves, you just have to be careful when you're throwing it out there, all right? And a lot of people are going to joke about Jade's um, <laughs> detuing constantly. You don't want to detu constantly. Don't go crazy, but, you know, maybe kind of go crazy. <laughs> it's a great move, so embrace the down two. Don't be afraid of it, but don't just constantly be throwing it out there unsafely either. All right, so another thing that you will have noticed um, if you're new to the game is that every character has a base set of moves, and then you also have the option to equip a handful of special moves. Jade has a, a variety, and again, probably kind of overwhelming trying to see what's the best one to start with. So I've kind of gone through and saying the three moves that I would use as a person playing Jade, um, but especially as someone starting Jade. And the first one you definitely want to equip, no matter what, is her Air Razor Rangs, Air Glaive. 
All right, so you jump up in the air and then it's down back one in the air. You can also amplify it. And when you amplify it, it becomes safe. You can follow up with it with Nitro Kick, so... And this is obviously good for, you know, spacing out, keeping your opponent out, which again is Jay's basic game plan, what she wants to do, create this kind of space. It's great if you have glow up, and then you can throw these projectiles and they can't hit you with anything. All right, people will get really annoyed at this move, at you spacing out, but that is the best way to go. And this is one of Jade's essential special moves, so you want to make sure that you have that equipped. The other one that you definitely want to make sure that you have equipped is Delia's Dance. Um, this is a low move, and it's back forward too. The amplified version pushes back with a mid at the end. Then for the third one, there's a handful of moves that you could choose from, but as a new player, I'm highly going to recommend another projectile. That's her Edenian Spark, and that is down back three. So you can see this has huge range, goes across the whole screen, is a low projectile, is pretty fast. Um, so again, if you can get glow out, now you've got some projectile options so that you can throw projectiles at them, while they can't throw projectiles at you. You can keep them back at a distance, trying to stop them from getting in. And you can also use that to kind of mix them up in different ways when you are a little bit closer. So you can kind of mix them up and then try to get back. Get away! Get away from me, Liu Kang! And those are the basic buttons and things that you want to use if you're gonna start off playing Jade. So just to recap, down four. Back two, back three, four, three, down two, another one of the god moves, the god move down two. <laughs> Glow being the centerpiece, air glaive, low spark, Delia's dance to follow up on moves here. Alright, so, and if you can get a handle on those basic moves, you'll be at a good place to start and actually use Jade the way that she's supposed to be used. And then later on, you can go back in and add in more stuff, but this is just a good way to kind of get started at the end, so. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for Jade. Hopefully this is helpful, and I will see you later. Bye!